Uh, it was just pretty much, you know, I came here on a visit, um, met with the coaches, um, a lot of the training staff, equipment staff, people like that. And it just felt it felt like a perfect fit, you know, and um, just knowing what they have in this building and the traditional things, um, I just knew it would have been, it's, it's a perfect fit for me to come in and compete and, you know, do what I got to do to, you know, help the team get better and, you know, hopefully win the Super Bowl. Is there something scheme-wise they do or philosophy-wise that they do where you feel like, hey, this is, this is a snug fit for my role? Um, really just the defense. You know, you look at the, the guys, the type of talent they have on the defense side of the ball, man, it's from the front to the back. So, you know, being able to, to come in and plug in um, as much as possible and whatever role that I can do to contribute to that is, is huge. So, you know, that, that went into a lot of thought with, about it um, on making the decision as well. Playing with Roquan and getting behind Roquan, what's, the, what's that experience like? And is there a, a comfort factor that, that just kind of lends itself to Man, it's, it's fun. You know, I played role for five years, so just knowing the type of person he is, the type of player he is, uh, the type of leader he is, and what he brings to the team, and as well as the defense, you know, every Sunday when he steps on the field. You know, just knowing his mentality, him going out there, flying around, making plays, you know, want, wanting to put everything on his shoulder, wanting everybody to follow him and, you know, kind of mirror him and how he plays the game. You know, it, it's something special. And just to be back with him, man, to be reunited, it, it, it's cool. What's the biggest challenge him? getting you know, coming in on just as training camp begins and everything is new? How do you how do you get through that? Man, just come in here and work. You know, keep your head down, blind the zone, and just continue to work. You know, um, like I said, it's a great group of guys in that locker room. So everyone is so open with well, open arms. You know, it's so welcome. So it felt like I'm right at home. You know, I know a lot of the guys. You know, I grew up with a lot of the guys in the locker room from the same place. So it just felt it was like I said, it just felt natural. You know, and and even the staff, everyone around the building, just been treating me so well. Everyone's been so welcoming, and, and so it, it, it was. It's, it's easy. Hey, what are you, what are you looking to show? You know, a two-time Pro Bowler, mm -hmm. you know, one of the best safeties in the game a few years ago. Now coming back, kind of from the injury and the foot and all that. What, what are you looking to show? That I'm still the type of player that I know I am. Um, that I still can go out there, I can compete, I can fly around, make plays, and just things like that. And I can come and contribute to a team. You know, um, I know I, the type of person I am off the field as well. Um, just want to show that around the league to everyone. Hey, what did, uh, going back to one point, did, did he share with you what it, you know, any thoughts on what it's like to play here and then what were those conversations with him? Uh, we had a brief conversation, nothing too deep. You know, he just sent me a text like, look, let's get to work. Glad to have us back. We had a little chat, you know, about the defensive scheme, that I love it, how they play, how the guys fly around, and how to use the guys in the back end especially. So just things like that. And hey, what's the thing of, thing of joining a contender, you know, a team that, you know, you look at this team, they've got a real shot. I know Chicago's been like, Tough, tough, tough couple of years. What's it like to join a team that's got a real shot? Man, it's just you know when you're going out there, you're working for you working towards something. Um, not saying that wasn't a, the, the thing in Chicago, but you know the results what didn't show up um, when it came to the record. But seeing, like I said, the roster, the, the the record, and what these guys been able to do over these last few years, and even last year, how close they came. I'm um, just coming in trying to be that missing piece on that back end of that defense and doing whatever I can to contribute and you know help us eventually accomplish Super Bowl. And how excited are you to be joining the safety room with guys like Kyle Hamilton and, and Marcus Williams as well? Man, it's crazy, man. I, I feel like this is probably the most deep and competitive DB room I done had since Alabama with Minka, Ronnie, and Marlon, you know, and just to be back there with Cal and, and Marcus and those guys been able to help me, um, you know, teach me things, like, you know, answer any question I have. Even with some of the younger guys, you know, I've been looking at them for help, you know, just learning the playbooks and things like that. So it's definitely special. You said you uh, grew up with some of these guys. I know Zay Flowers has mentioned the Florida guy. Who, who do you yeah. remember from this team that you might have played with or against growing up? Man, it's, me and Zay, like, you know, it's like basically like my like my little cousin. You know, I've seen him since he was small. You know, <laughs> X Man when he had the silver teeth. You know, so <laughs> I knew Zay, um, Trayvon Mullins, um, you know, Marlon, Derrick Henry from college. So just being reunited with guys, them, them guys, man, it's just it makes it feel so much special. You know. If you look at Derrick Henry now and you see, are you marvel at here he is at 30 and still looking like he did in college? Man, that's it. D he was looking like that since high school. So it, <laughs> it, it doesn't surprise me. Like I was telling the guys today, man, when D Han first walked on the field, when I see him out of the bottom, I couldn't believe how big he was. You know, you've seen a film, him being a Florida guy, then you've seen him in person. It's like, like he's a creative player off a game. Did you think you'd get an interception in just your second practice as a Raven, a pick six? Yeah, uh, I mean, you just go out there and work and you play ball. You know, the coaches put us in great position to make plays on the ball. It's just, it's just on us to come up with it and do the rest. I know you haven't seen it yet, but a lot of defenders that end up coming here are happy they don't have to go with 
against Lamar Jackson. And <laughs> so what's the thought of that like? Man, I've been a fan of LJ since we was younger. Like we grew up probably 15 minutes from each other. So watching him play since he was younger as well, and he played for the Pumpano Cowboys, and I played for a lot of the Lakes Vikings. You know, just just always been a fan of his game and basically call him my cousin because we both Jacksons, but to be on the same team as him is, you know, it's like a one of those type of feelings. And just see what he brings to this game, to this league, and just how he's himself all the time, and, um, and just how everyone rallies around him is it's, it's special. All right, Eddie, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.